Gus here with the parental review of Modern Warfare 2, a first person shooter with single and multiplayer modes. We're going to talk about these points of concern, as well as these positive aspects. Players will utilize everything from knives and pistols, to machine guns and rocket launchers, to do battle in this game. In terms of blood and gore, player damage is visualized through blood effects on hit. I didn't find any cases of dismemberment, but some of the blood effects can be quite over the top. In the campaign, there is quite a bit of swearing, to include the F word. In the multiplayer modes, there is also voice and text chat. The voice chat can be disabled. The game includes purchasable cosmetic and convenience items, as well as a premium currency. There will also be a battle pass featuring free and premium tiers. Battle pass items in Call of Duty are typically cosmetic and convenience items. The premium tier usually contains enough premium currency to be self-sustaining. There are characters in the campaign that are shown smoking cigars and drinking alcohol, but these are part of cinematics and not a part of the gameplay. We've talked about my points of concern but I think there are some positive aspects worth considering as well. If you're enjoying the review or if you think it's been helpful, please hit the like button. The campaign mode for this game is extremely light on representation for women, only having two in the story, neither of which are playable characters, both of whom get taken prisoner. The multiplayer does have female characters that are playable, and these characters are not weaker than their male counterparts. If you're not sure if this game is right for your family, check out this playlist here of similar games that you might want to check out instead.